Hi guys, welcome to my channel SAP at Life. Now, today in this section, I would like to cover one important topic that is uh, mass changes. First of all, I will uh, I will explain what is this mass changes, what is this functionality of this mass changes. So let's suppose I would, I will take uh, one example for one company code. This 1709 is my company code. For this company code, uh, for the again, this company code, I am having. Uh, so let's suppose in real time we are having uh, five uh, n number of GL accounts. Here I am taking the example of GL accounts. Uh, n number of GL accounts will be there. Out of which, uh, um, out of which uh, we are having a 1500 GL accounts, which is which are relating to only bank accounts. Uh, so there is a new requirement is uh, given by a business uh, is uh, for all the bank accounts uh, 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 all the bank bank accounts uh, the field status group should be updated as v005 instead of v001 uh, when when the, when these bank accounts are jail accounts are created uh, uh, creating uh, at that time they have created as a v001 now the business business want to change the field status group as v005 so this requirement has been given so for this uh, if i if i use the transaction code let's see here if i use the transaction code ss00 so i need to select the gl account i need to here click on this edit button and then uh, i need to click on here and then then only i can i, I will able to change the change the, here the field status group so for for each gl account it will take hardly 30 seconds to change the field status group so so if we think if if we if we need to update a 1500 gl accounts it will take a lot of time to avoid this situation sap has provided a one better uh, better uh, SAP has provided one better solution for this that is transaction code mass 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 with the help of this mass transaction code we can update any master data uh, it's been um, it's like a vendor master data or customer master data or asset master data or material or GL account any master data any field any field we can update with the help of this transaction code MASS mass I have taken the example of I have taken the example of GL account now I will show the my GL accounts which have been created in this company code 1709. You can see here in this Excel. These are the GL accounts. So, so uh, first of all, I will show you which uh, which field status group has been assigned for these GL accounts. Uh, I will copy these GL accounts and I will go to here new screen. And I will use the transaction code SE16N. And SE16 on I will use uh, I will take this table SKB1 for JL account master data company code level. And here I am giving my company code 1709 and here GL accounts. Upload from clipboard. And here I am executing here. See here, uh, the field status group is Z001. Now I will use the transaction mass with the help of this T code. I will change this all GL accounts field status group from Z001 to Z005 bank accounts within a sec within seconds. Within a second. So so let's try how it work. So I'm using here transaction code is MASS mass on enter and here object type we need to give the object type here we need to select the object type uh, click on F4 I put one and then GL accounts see here this is the GL account likewise we are having a sales order purchase order business partner customer profit center for every master data we are having this object type 
So now I am selecting this object GL account and click on execute. Now system will turn one pop-up box and click on here, not display again and hit on enter button. Now this, in, this screen will appear in that uh, now I am going to make the changes at company code level for GL account. So now, now I need to select this one GL account company code level at SKB1 table. If you are going to make the changes at chart of account level, we can need to select this one. And next we need to click on here field. So there are a lot of fields will be appear. So we need to select here which field we are, we are going to update the uh, update. We are going to update. So I'm selecting FSTAG. It's a field status group field name, technical field name. Uh, hit on enter button and th select this one field status group and click on execute. Again, it will throw in a pop up box and uh, hit on enter button. And it will take to another screen. Uh, here we need to mention here company code 1709 and GL account. We need to give the GL account range here. So I will copy the GL accounts. Click on upload from clipboard. Execute. And now click on execute. Now see here. System will show here this is the company code and this is the GL account and this is the short text and this is the field which are going to which we need to update the field field status. Uh, it's a, earlier it was a, it is there Z001. Now I'm going to update here here Z005. When I when I given here Z005 and perform mass changes, it will automatically update the for all the GL accounts. Z005 and then you need to click on save icon. Save again, hit on enter button. See, system will give three types of messages here error message 0, warning message 2, and information 12. This information is green, it's showing as a green, so it's a uh, data is, has been updated here, and its system is it's showing here two warning messages. So keep balance sheet accounts in local currency so it doesn't matter so now i'm going to check the fields at table level and escape b1 here shell account master to the company code level and i'm giving my company code 1709 and i will select here GL account and I'm executing here. See here Z005. All the GL accounts have been updated as Z005. So I will show you this in here also. If you see here, oh, on display Z005. So this is the way how to perform the mass changes. So I hope you guys understood. Thanks for watching my video. Bye bye.